Even Google doesn't fully trust AI and still Microsoft stock is at an all time high because of AI. And for now, no Grammys for the robots. This is Mate with Future Tuts and you're watching the AI report. Like and subscribe for the fastest, most relevant AI news delivered straight to your brain every day and let's get into it. Interesting. Even though Google is one of the leaders in AI, they still warn their employees about using chatbots and other AI in their work. Notably, they advise workers to double check the content generated from chatbots, especially when it comes to code, and also not to input any confidential information. I suggest taking a page from their own playbook and doing the same, if not even being more cautious. And still, Microsoft stock hits an all-time high mostly thanks to the predictions about a 10 billion annual revenue from AI alone. This year alone, Microsoft stock is up 46%. Satya Nadella, Microsoft CEO, is probably one of the best CEOs ever, at least in my opinion. And he's not even like a marketing sales CEO, he's more like a tech-oriented visionary. I like this guy. Anyway, Microsoft are the leaders in the AI age for now, and that seems to pay off for them quite well. China is going at it, obviously. TikTok, Tencent, Baidu, and Alibaba are all gorging on NVIDIA AI chips. I guess we know where the Chinese tech giants are placing their bets. NVIDIA, on the other hand, are making a killing selling the shovels in the AI gold rush. OpenAI, Microsoft, and Google are negotiating buying the content from old school media. It seems like the AI companies will pay around 20 million a year for access to kosher media content from the News Corp, the New York Times, Axel Springer, the Financial Times and The Guardian. Look, people can call these publications fake news as much as they want, but the fact of the matter is they still employ some of the most trustworthy and capable journalists in the world. And if nothing else, at least these journalists know one thing, how to write. So their content is high quality and the tech giants are willing to pay a premium for it. Facebook slash Meta release a cool AI tool for voice and speech called Voicebox. The tool will provide editing, sampling, styling, in-context, text-to-speech synthesis, speech editing, noise reduction, and even cross-lingual style transfer. Sounds pretty cool and useful, especially for creators such as myself. Honestly, I can't wait to try this thing out. And only human creators will be eligible to win Grammys. Fair enough. I think this is exactly what will happen to most of the world, especially when it comes to arts. Basically, very few people will be genuinely interested in AI-generated art. One question remains though. If AI can't earn Grammys, should all of these new trap artists stop using autotune and other features like that? I swear to God, listening to these new trap albums sounds exactly like AI has come to life sometimes. So, AI will still not penetrate some spheres of human activity, and that's the way it is. This has been the AI report. One guy here doing all the research, writing, editing, producing, publishing. So if you appreciate getting your AI news delivered straight to you every day, no filters, just the truth, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow.